so uh, we're here in Sudan on uh, the Modo Yacht Elegante and we are initiating our research study acoustically tracking sharks and rays around the Red Sea region of Sudan. Ciao, sono Lisa, sono una biologa marina, ho studiato all'Università di Bologna, infatti vivo a Bologna in Italia. Per mia fortuna sono diventata una custo diver. Uh, merhabalar, ben Burçak Öztekin. Uh, Türkiye'den e, geliyorum bu Sudan'daki e, bilimsel araştırmaya. 2012 Kasım'dan beri Kusta Divers e, üyesiyim. E, ve şimdi 2013 Şubat'ında e, Sudan'daki e, e, köpek balıkları ve reylerle ilgili e, yapılan e, bilimsel araştırmaya e, bilimsel olmayan e, bir dalgaç olarak katılma imkanı oldu. Ve buradaki e, bilimsel araştırmayı gözlemleme imkanı oldu. carried on uh, uh, fish surveys uh, in certain uh, dive sites that we've been to throughout this week and I had a dive with him uh, when he was contacting uh, the fish survey at uh, certain uh, transects. He counted the fish and meanwhile I uh, filled in the Red Sea uh, dialogue so I counted as a novice diver um, what uh, kind of uh, uh, see animals we uh, come across in that certain area. Within the context of uh, divers aware of sharks uh, program uh, for the Red Sea, there is a survey for, for recreational divers that they can uh, conduct uh, during their dives to help scientists by providing them uh, data on uh, which kinds of sharks we see during our dives and what was the size and depth of them. So this is a very uh, useful tool and very easy uh, to fill in. Tutti pensano che lo squalo sia una bestia cattiva e invece non è vero perché quando abbiamo fatto le immersioni, anzi, era pieno di squali ma erano talmente timidi che andavano via e per fare dei video era molto difficile. One of the activities was the deployment of uh, underwater fixed camera to uh, conduct video surveys on uh, which kinds of sharks uh, we have here. So we deployed the camera uh, uh, several times and uh, we left them uh, to uh, record for several hours. I also helped her preparing the baits for the sharks. Questi pesci sono stati pescati, le parti più importanti che sono state prese sono state le pinne, gli otoliti e i muscoli. Nello stesso tempo eh, sono state prese le, eh, delle alghe oppure dei detriti perché questi pesci si nutrono magari di queste alghe o di detriti eccetera e quindi attraverso queste analisi siamo in grado di sapere se questi pesci rimangono in questo reef oppure no. The acoustic telemetry system has been used for about 30 years now. The uh, technology evolved to incorporate to what it is now which is mainly passive acoustic telemetry. And passive acoustic telemetry involves a system of acoustic monitors such as this one. This is a Vemco VR2W and this here is the hydrophone, this detects the acoustic signal. So here's the two main components of the basic system. We have the acoustic monitor and the acoustic transmitter. Each acoustic transmitter has a unique code. So once we implant this inside the shark or the ray, uh, every three to five minutes this emits a very high frequency unique signal that can be decoded by the monitor and at that time if the monitor hears the tag it records the time, the date and the ID of the shark we've heard. Here in Sudan we're asking very specific questions um, with the sharks. We're 
interested in their movements between the scenes. Yeah. It has very big implications for management of these species. With this technology, it's relatively cost effective. We can track these sharks now for eight to 10 years based on the battery life. And that is very important in terms of tracking these large marine creatures because of their life history. They're extremely long, long lived animals. So in order to understand their movements, their behaviors, their migrations, we really need to track them over multiple years. And that way we can start to re reveal a lot more about their life history. Questa settimana io uh, mi sono sentita uh, molto bene perché mi è sembrato di far parte di qualcosa, di aver fatto qualcosa di utile, anche se è una piccola goccia nell'oceano, però l'ho fatto e spero di poterlo fare ancora.